Uh, what's up everybody? We are back. Here's an update for you. I spent uh, a very long time trying to understand the original code here on the prop maker, original slider camera rig. And I added a whole bunch of stuff like uh, start the motor, start the saw, start rotation, home where we are, jogs, reset drives, detect if the drive is faulted, all, just all kinds of stuff. I have been learning how to use this and I've added all kinds of extra information and um, it's been a bit of a learning curve but uh, like for instance I added this entire clock read everything from the actual Bluetooth. So originally you could only get Bluetooth information from here to the Arduino. I was able to make the opposite happen. So I added some code so I could read the data. So here's my new app. I limited certain things like the speed, I pre-faulted the accelerations, I added a bunch of buttons, colors, just all kinds of stuff. So right now it is working. It says drive is okay. Right there, drive okay. So what I'm going to do is run it. Okay, and I'm going to actually hold this so the drive actually faults. Boom, drive fault, error state, drive faulted. Oh, it's a little blurry. That's weird. Drive faulted, so I can hit drive reset. And that happens. Says drive okay. The drive freaks out sometimes, that's just because the drive sucks. Drive okay. Now it works again. I jam it. Boop. Faulted. Now none of the buttons work. So anyway, uh, the other things like saw start, saw stop, all this kind of stuff does work. That drive is very unhappy most of the time. Anyway, super amazing. So now I can start and stop. If I do like start saw, it says, uh, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> start! Or I can hit cancel. If I hit stop while it's running, boom, it just comes to a stop. And then I can jog. So anyway, pretty cool stuff. I didn't do much here, I just added a few more wires going to the drive, but other than that, that's it. So there's your update been a heck of a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, but I'm learning a lot. This is a super cool way to do applications. Um, this is actually pretty user friendly and there's quite a few examples online. Uh, if you just get online and look up uh, uh, here, this is on, uh, nope, not that one. Here we go. This is on uh, community.appinventor.mit.education and there are literally like hundreds and hundreds of examples of different ways of doing different type of things which is just super awesome that this kind of stuff is out there so I had no idea it's this easy to go from app to Arduino Bluetooth like this would take so much work to do and so much knowledge and understanding how to do it but this is super cool anyway hope you uh, have enjoyed God bless see you on the next one. Oh, and I made my own icon check that out Ah, blurry. Oh, my camera went crazy. Come on. Come on. Here's your update. I'm going to lay the electronics out something like this. This will be on uh, the back of the machine on the top back corner. So, yeah, this is what I'm starting with. I'll show you when I have it completely wired up. Two solid state relays power strip and switch for the saw specifically this camera sucks outlet I don't know why it's all messy We've got an outlet for the uh, vacuum cleaner and the saw We've got the electronics four-way bridge rectifier and some caps for uh, the DC motor stepper and the uh, electronics for the stepper motor driver oh and the power supply 48 volt 48 volt and only a few milliamps but 
that's enough to run this. Wow, this camera's bad. Okay, so this video was pretty short today. Last week I worked way too much the week before and the weekend for like two straight weeks I was just working uh, we had a big thing going on at work and it was exhausting absolutely exhausting so I didn't get a chance to do what I wanted to do for last week so I got a short video this week we'll answer some uh, comments here for this week and then well for two weeks ago's video so if you want your comments answered on a video leave them I'll answer them for the next one but I'm only doing the one previous I'm not gonna do like a bunch backwards that's a lot. <clears throat> I'll try to make this short and sweet. Hopefully you enjoyed that little short video of like sort of the ending of doing some programming and stuff. The next video we get into a lot of details and then we get into after that some actual cutting and some stuff. It's kind of drawn out but I filmed a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense so I'm just sort of slapping it all together and making some videos out of it. So you guys can at least see what I did on that thing. Okay, <clears throat> so this is from last video, Prop Maker Part 4, and uh, Happy New Year! Well, Happy New Year, thank you. It's been a busy start of the year, let me tell you. Darcy does it. <clears throat> he says, liking the format of comment answering at the end of videos. I changed my username a year ago in February. We can only talk about the similarities to great minds think alike and funny coincidences. So Darcy called me out, and uh, I called Darcy out, and I was like, hey, your name looks just like mine, because I changed mine just for fun recently. And um, I realized it was really close to what I changed mine to, and I said maybe he changed his after I changed mine, but actually he changed his before mine, which is hilarious. So anyway, cheers, Darcy. Hilarious. Tell your brother I said hi. Um, all right, Daniel. Am I still recording? Still recording. Audio's good. Ross, do you have any interest in open source electrogravity projects? I have some coils requiring information that I call gravity ductor. I think I said that word. Nothing pressing, either just something here nor there, a toy uh, to toy with and share. Um, I mean, I'm always interested in new ideas and creative thinking. So uh, if you got something you want to send me and you want me to play around with it, check it out. Yeah, sure. I'll let you know uh, how to get a hold of me. I'll leave a comment or uh, actually just email me at my email address on my website. So you have to do a little homework to get there, but I'll see it come through. Maybe you already did. I think you actually already did, and I just need to respond. I think I saw something about that. I do read all my emails, I just don't get a chance to respond to most of them. Unless it's something very pressing. Um, I was wondering, and Android, I always say your name right wrong. Android hacks for me. Android hacks for me. You know what? Explain me your username because I always read your username wrong. Hi Russ. So I was wondering how you you'd increment your horizontal cut speed creative as usual. So in that video I am using a uh, that whole apparatus I tried to put together with the, uh, you can see it over here in the corner. Tried to put that thing together and it just ended up using a stepper motor, which is the opposite of what I wanted to do. But I realized that ultimately I just need to build a CNC version of this. So it's probably what's going to happen. Um, all right. Nate Roberts. Great stuff. Peace and love, Russ. Cheers, Nate. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, Fire Pento. All right. Yes, I would be starting my own business. This is a conversation from the last couple. Actually, I will be doing smaller products to build up a full fiberglass boat design and manufacturing. For now, I plan on designing parts for drag race related car stuff. The Pinto, I asked him, he's got a, he's got a Pinto. The Pinto fits into this very much. As far, you still got the Pinto? I guess you do. As far as it as, uh, so far it as, I can't read today. So far, it ha oh has. <laughs> I'm tired. So far, it has a new paint job, and is back to running. Oh, cool! So you still got it. I want to get one of those uh, arc droids that start manufacturing plasma start and start manufacturing plasma cut weldment parts, engine mounts, transmission mounts, etc. Honestly, it's a good business to get into. The car stuff is kind of taking off in certain aspects of uh, thinking. 
depending on how you look at it with this whole nonsense um, related to turning regular cars into drag cars, not being able to do that and all sorts of crap. But uh, in general, dude, that's awesome. Really awesome. Uh, hi, Russ. I heard you pronounce my name. It's actually It actually sounds like Evo if you speak English. That's the same way that it sounds in Dutch. Ah, I said Master Ivo, but it's Master Evo. Very good. Thanks for that clarification. Appreciate that. All right. The guy who comments on most of my videos. And I still can't say your name. Um, pretty weird to see my avatar in one of your videos. Is it going to happen again? I'm going to say it. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, does that bother you, by the way? All right. Logic math. Thank you. This video helped me about something. I don't know what the something was, but you'll like, well, this one. It should help you even more if it's related to the code screen problem thing. Um, uh, Carl Roy, how are you compensating for edge deflection? You know, this is actually a really, like, good question. Um, so if you, um, what, what, what? I'm making a video. What? Hi! Oh my gosh. Are you are you okay? Yeah. Go dry your hair. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so how are you compensating for edge deflection? This is a great question. So in the next video you'll see I talk about this um, edge deflection, or at least what I think you're speaking of. So the thick part of the prop is over here and the thin part is over here. And the weight wants to push down on this. And you can actually see it in the uh, time lapse videos. You can kind of see everything moving around just a little bit. Um, so I set, I set everything a little higher than I needed it to be so I get a little extra thickness and then sand it down to the right profile. So it sounds kind of weird, and the other, but it works. And the other thing that happens is when you're rotating this way, the end wants to not rotate because there's a lot of weight on it. So you end up curving the blade more than what it originally was. Again, I just leave extra depth for that. So it's not a perfect cut for the profile. It's actually thicker. And then I sand that down to smooth it out and make it the profile I want. So I'm just profiling it on this machine and then I'm finishing it with hand sanding. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, bummer that MIT uh, A12 is not for iOS. Thanks for all the videos, Russ. For some reason I thought it was, but yeah, it, it might not be. Um, why waste money on a store-bought prop or on store-bought when you can make make better yourself? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they're better, but they're definitely cheaper. It's only costing about two bucks in wood. Granted, I'm not including my time. It's more expensive if you include my time, but I'm okay with that because I'd rather be doing this than going and working a third or fourth job to get money to buy a prop. I'd rather just cut a prop and sand it down. It's pretty cool to say you made that yourself. And the last one, a bunch of cowboy smiley faces. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the end of that one. Peace and love, guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed and have a great day. Let me know in the comments uh, for this video here what you guys think. Peace.